Alrighty guys, so we got a 2013 Hyundai Sonata and we're going to change out the spark plugs on this one today. So to get into here, you just grab under here and here. Got it, the ink up, the ink up. Now come out, I'll just put that to the side. Okay. So then we have one, two, three, and four. That's where the four spark plugs will be. Not 100% sure on the firing order on this one. I think it's like one, four, three, two, or something like that. Um, anyway, so what we gotta do is take off the screws here, the bolts here. We gotta take off the bolts here. And then, um, I'm pretty sure on this one we can leave the wires on. So let's go ahead and start doing that. I believe this is a 10 millimeter. Yeah, it is. So let's go ahead and undo that one. Okay. And just know how tight they are when you're taking it off. You know, like you can tell I'm not using very much pressure to undo it. That means when we're putting it back on, we don't need to be super duper tight. Snug. So we'll go ahead and continue this here. So we went ahead and took those off, one, two, three, four. We're good, we got our four bolts. So now we're gonna put these to the side. And something right here is good. That way we know, okay, here's the four bolts that we need right here. Okay. So, let's go a quick little. All right guys, trying to get you another view here. So this is top down. So these are the boots with the coil pack things. So to pull this out, now that we've taken these bolts off, super easy. All you do is just grab it, pull it up, and boom, it comes out just like that. Then we can just set that to the side. We don't need to take all these clips off unless you're replacing the electrical boots. You don't need to do that. And you can look right down that hole there, you can see the spark plug. So I don't have the special socket for the plugs. They, they make one with like a rubber grommet on it that'll hold the spark plug. I don't have those. This is the only car that I've ever owned that has these small spark plugs. So I don't plan on buying one. But as you see in there, okay, looks good. It's not super dirty. So once we pull the spark plug out, we want to make sure that nothing goes into the hole. So it's probably best to do them one at a time. Uh, mine's pretty clean up here, so I don't see anything that's really going to go into the hole. But I'd say do it one at a time. That way you're not mixing stuff up. You're not uh, getting stuff down into the holes. Because now we can just pull that spark plug right there, throw the new one in, tighten it back down, put our boot on, and then put our nut on. Then we know that one's done. Okay, so let's get back to it. Okay, so... Here's our new plug, and I got the Iridiums because that's what the 2.4 liter calls for. This engine is used on tons of cars, Kias, um, Sonatas, Hyundais, it's in the Kia Sereno, I believe, and a few others. It's a widely used engine, and it's in multiple years of the Sonata, so uh, this video should be able to help, uh, I think it's like 2011 through 2000. 13 14 something like that um, Anyway, so since I don't have that special plug I don't want to just drop this in here because the plug comes pre-gapped on this one So these plugs are designed for this motor. I don't need to gap it If you get some of the, the cheaper ones you will have to gap them Okay, and it's super easy to do you just get the gapping tool you put it in between you kind of just tap it until it uh, Reaches the gap or expand the gap one of the two Okay, so Here's what we need to do. 
So instead of just dropping it in, like I said, I don't want to do that because I don't want to mess up the gap. I'm just going to lightly grab the tip and just slowly lower it in. So, like I said, I don't want to drop it. Okay. So there we go. Now that it's in there, I'll take my ratchet with my extension. Uh, you don't need this big of an extension. You could probably do it with like a five inch or a six inch, but I like the big one. So there we go. We're in. We'll just kind of nicely thread it until we know we're in. And then now we can actually start getting it in. And you can hear it going in. There we go. Now we just want to snug it. We don't want it to be too tight. Just snug. And that's it. Just a little bit of a turn. You're good. Okay. Now we got that plug in. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Boom. New plugs in. It's super easy to do. You can do this at home. Save yourself some money on this uh, for the maintenance of the vehicle or if you're having a misfire. It's really easy to do, guys. Now <clears throat> that we got the plug in, uh, the plugs on the box, it says do not use anti-seize. So we're not going to put anti-seize on it. We're not going to put dielectric grease. We're just going to leave it the way it is. Now we'll take our boot, angle our boot, drop it back in, and then just push down. Just like that. And boom. Now you can see it's back in. The bolt, where the bolt's going to go, it's lined up. So now all we have to do is put the bolt back in on this one and we're done. Now I'll do the other three and then you just reverse the process to uh, put it back together. Once you get all these done, you just take this thing and it clips back on on these little posts. Like that. See the holes here. You just take it, you flip it back over, line up your oil cap and then you can just push down. You'll feel it snap in. It'll go like click, 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 click. And that's it. And then... Here's some footage of me doing the other ones, guys. All right, so I know those top ones are tens, and I believe this one up here is a 16 millimeter. Just drop that down into the hole. Yep, there it is. Yeah, and she comes right out just like that. Super easy, guys. They do have long threads on these ones. So, so like I said, I didn't bring one that would hug the the spark plug. So it is out. So one thing you could do is just get a pair of needle nose. It's not that big of a deal. You can reach right down in here, grab the spark plug, and boom. And there's our plug. So get it to focus here. All right, so it's a Denso plug, and you can see that the the tip actually looks pretty good. Both sides of the spark plug look good. It's got this little patina around here, but that doesn't matter. It's probably just from the heat from this, but it doesn't affect the spark plug. But this plug actually looks really good. Looks like it's been burning pretty good. Cool.